Hey everybody, this is my collectibles coming back with another video. This is my top five best deals in VV that I see right now to start off October and to end off September. So I'm going to break this down for you. I also got some honorable mentions at the end. And I'm going to talk about New York City Comic Con and how maybe your best strategy is to save a bit of gems right now for big drops that could be coming. And of course, the second wave of the VV verse. So I'm going to talk about that too. And there's one big, huge comic on this list that is, I think, now cementing itself even more because of recent news that I heard. So I really want to give that to you guys in just a second here as well. So if you do like this video, make sure you smash like. And you got to comment down below and let me know some of the deals I may have missed that you think are awesome. These are just ones that I've picked out, you know, and I also think that the deals could get better. So we'll talk about that as well. If you want to join this channel, by the way, as a member, make sure you join level three and get your free drop head three 3D collectible that I've created. That gets you a lot of spots in all my reward programs for comics and, and all sorts of stuff. Omi and VV gems and everything like that. And if you don't sign up soon, you they're all going to be gone because there's about less than 30 available. So, uh, you know, sign up, DM me, and I'll get you that free drop head and into the rewards program. So let's get into this. Here's my top five deals. Now, when is the next pump in VV? Well, Bitcoin is coming up on a big milestone for sure. And people, a lot of people think that crypto is going to go up in the next little bit. And that always helps VV for sure and digital collecting. But I really think the next big wave of pumping and, and stuff going up in values when the second wave of people get into the VV verse, I specifically asked Alex and the team, if you watch my video with, uh, with when Alex joined my live stream a couple days ago, this is September the 30th. I'm doing this video. Um, he talked about that next wave, you know, Dan from VV thinks it's going to be coming sooner than later, but I think st we still have some time to wait, but when people get into the VV verse, I think we are going to see a pump on stuff because the collectibles look so amazing there. And I got a couple in here that I think that are really going to be good for that, right? So that's another reason why I'm making this list as well. But that's when I think the next pump is going to be, and then we'll see where it goes from there. But anyway, number five right now is going to be Luke Skywalker's Secret Rare. Now, the floor is very thin on this one, just dropping just under 1,000 gems on him right here. And then it goes right back up to 11, 13, 15, you know, that kind of thing. Very, very, very scarce collectible for sure. And one of the ones you want to have. This one has been very, like, really performing just fine through this bear market here. Doing okay. Come, you know, come down from like that mid 1500 range, but it's so close to go right back up. Now, this could drop a bit lower. So just keep your eyes open on it, but it's scarce with thin floors and, uh, you know, one of the iconic characters of all time. You know, so I would definitely recommend having this one in your collection if you can get one. Now, number four is actually Todd. Himself. Now I can make a video about Todd all the time. And this is the first ever DC collectible. And the one of the reasons I'm bringing him up now in this particular list is because DC NFT themselves over at Palm there, when they recently dropped their Batman 423 comic, which is, you know, the Todd cover, they literally acknowledged this Todd Batman as the first ever you know, to DC collectible with Todd and stuff. So they actually acknowledged it you know, live online, which is amazing. So, you know, like at 569 right now, this is a great deal to get a Todd. Now, I st I don't own my Todd right now. So, you know, this is one that I really want to get to. And I'm actually going to be a little bit more patient on it too. I think it could even drop a bit further. So I'm actually being very patient, but this is an unbelievable price. Now, the other thing about it is the first ever set you know, of these collectibles, you know, with the Rizzo's and stuff and the, and the, the Becky, you know, and those ones right there are such a good deal that, you know, I do think that Vivi is going to do something with that first set one day. So if you're ever thinking about getting a first set, the Rizzo has dropped under a thousand at 969. So, you know, I mean, how much better could it get for the first ever Vivi set with DC also acknowledging that this is the first ever, you know, NFT digital collectible. For DC. So I think that is pretty amazing. And it's really good to get that cross platform. So anyway, that's my number four. My number three is actually the classic Hulk. Now we've seen the Hulk airdrop show up with the secret rare and he looks great. And he's about 80 gems or 79 gems or so on that secret rare. But what you saw is all the other Hulks that led up to that secret rare have all plummeted in price. The red Hulk, you know, the, the the basically the gladiator hulk you know they've all come down and you what you've noticed is that this fa this is the only real fa hulk that we have 
And he's actually maintained, you know, and he's actually jumped ahead of a couple of those other ones. Now, when those ones were so much higher, like the Red Hulk, for example, and this is the one, this is the FA of the Hulk right here. The secret rare looks great, but it doesn't have the FA tag. So, you know, 4,000 or so additions. I really do think that this is the opportunity to grab him. And I think he's going to, at the, the dust settles, he's going to be worth more than the rest of them. The secret rare, I think is always going to be worth more because it's a lot scarcer. You know, but still, I think this is the best opportunity for sure. That's just my opinion. That's the way I've always felt. I minted him off the start. I've just kept the one I've minted. But, you know, looking at grabbing a couple others, that would probably be a smart plan for me. But I'm just going to be also patient as well. I'm being very patient. I'm recommending you guys do too. Any of these prices could go lower. They could change. I mean, this is the way it is, right? This is just how I see it right now. Number two, actually, is Amazing Spider-Man 252 on the common variant. Now, I don't have this one. And this is one I'm dying to get to complete my amazing Spider-Man collection. It is so scarce. It's down to 450, but it's like there's like two listings and it's right back up to 6 700 again. I mean, it is just one of the best comics on the app because of scarcity. You know, of course, the comic is a good comic as well. You can see I have the original right here. But I mean, like, this is one that is really on my hit list. And of course, the if you look at the rare variant, it, you know, that is exclusive to Vivi. That is also at a great price as well, you guys. And the uncommon is about three eighty nine. The uncommon stalled at three eighty nine. It's kind of sitting there. And the common, there's only one or one or two listings that have dropped it down here, and then it goes right back up to about seven hundred. So I'm really staring at this one, and I'm trying to gather the gems to get it. But I have my focus on something else, and I think you guys might know what that is. Now I want to talk about this first, Captain America, right here, Captain America number one. I put this in my recent video as a prediction for the upcoming New York City Comic Con, potentially, just because I think they're going to drop a big comic there. And I also did a couple of other ones like Hulk 181, X-Men 1. Those two, I think, are imminent coming to Vivi. But this comic, I've, we've always talked about it. But recently, you know, I did have Alex on my channel from Vivi. And, you know, I mentioned this comic, you know, for New York City Comic Con, kind of like, you know, just trying to like, just trying to find out some info because I don't know what's coming, right? And um, one thing that was mentioned was that the subject matter on this cover, you know, might make it difficult to show up. Now, I'm, I'm talking about this comic for a specific reason to show you my number one pick. Because this comic right here, there's only one other comic in Vivi that could rival this one, you know. And this is only one other comic that could become close to this one, in my, in my opinion, in regards to a Marvel comic. Specifically, if they drop it at the 10,000 edition size. I mean, if Marvel Comics 1 was at the 10,000 edition super limited size, then, of course, it would probably be right there with my next choice, right? But this one right here may never come because of the subject matter. You know, it's tough, apparently, for Marvel. This is what we're getting. This is the word we're getting. So with that in mind, you got to go with Amazing Fantasy. It is going to be the number one comic on VV probably forever, you know, I mean, in, in regards to scarcity, I mean, you got that amazing Spider-Man 252. It's so scarce, its value is higher. But in regards to just a legacy comic, the, one of the greatest of all time, this one is like, obviously, there's not going to be really another one that's going to come and supplant this one. So I don't think you'll have any issues at all owning this. If you're a bit skeptical or worried about getting in at this price level, it's gone to 251 with only two listings there at that. This is right where I want to buy it. I bought one at 250 a week ago, then it went right back up to 300 and it's come back down to around that price. So I am staring at this one like you've never seen <laughs> for sure. And the funny thing is the ultra rare has gone up in value a bit from about 800 to 930. So this comic is, you know, most likely going to be forever the number one comic on VV. So it is one of those ones that you don't ever have to worry about. And if you get it for even cheaper than this, <laughs> that would be amazing. And I'm just continually watching it for sure. And with Captain America one, potentially maybe never coming because of that subject matter on the cover, you know, there isn't really a comic that could supplant this one. So that's why I'm really so focused on it. I hope you guys understand why I'm putting that out. Anyway, my honorable mentions, of course, sticking with Spider-Man, you know, you got Spider-Man FAs right now. The prices are amazing on them. You can see that there, there's the uncommon at 47 gems. Everyone's going to want a Spider-Man FA in their VV verse for sure. I mean, it's 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 such an easy thing to get. And of course, the commons at about 60 or so. The rare is the one I'm really looking at. That one's under 100. And that one's the one I really want to get to as well. And of course, the ultra rare. The secret rare is like still awesome. I think it's under 5,000 right now. But anyway, Miles Morales, there's the hoodie right there. This is another one I don't own that I'm looking to get. I'm just waiting for that price to continue to get juicier. But the floor is very thin. It's about 259 right there. I mean, he's one of the more stable collectibles we ever have. I have the ultra rare and he's just under 600 again. 
just sitting there, you know, but he's kind of stays at that level, you know, it doesn't really go much lower. And I think that this guy, Miles, I'm waiting to see if he goes a bit lower, but there's only a couple of listings and he's right back up over 400 and back up in that range, right? So I'm looking at that. Now, look down below and Wonder Woman. This is another honorable mention right here that is like, in the VV verse is going to do well. And when they come up with an animated Wonder Woman, because you know they're going to, they came up with, uh, you know, like the Green Lantern. So we're probably going to get an animated Superman, an animated Batman, I hope, all to go with the Justice League, you know. And those would be the trifecta. Here's Wonder Woman right here. She's sitting at 34 gems on her FA, about 98% down from her all-time high. So this is one that is, you know, is really, really juicy sitting there right there. I think it's a great to have in your collection. And then, of course, over on the side there, you can see those pencils, they're sitting at about 15 gems or so, 15 to 20 gems on the on the uh, the, 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 the the Lion King, Frozen, and Tinkerbell. And then, of course, the Wreck-It Ralph one is at 50. But, like, those pencils, you know, they're just so cheap for secret rares. And that desk is really intriguing me. I'm just, I'm just being very patient and waiting. But I'm really looking at those pencils, you know, because, like, I go for all the drops. So I've gotten those pencils, except for uh, there's one that I wasn't able to get. You know, but I'm actually have gotten those pencils. I sold them for higher, you know, like when they're in their 20s, right? So now I'm looking at them at their 15s. And even just for MCP, they're crazy deals at Secret Rares, right? So I'm just waiting on those to see what happens. But I'm really, really getting intrigued by this desk. I don't, there's something in the back of my head that's giving me like this, this notion that I should be collecting that and going for that airdrop, even though these airdrops don't typically do well for the collectibles you have to collect. But the Secret Rares on these are like 15. You really can't go wrong. You know, even after the airdrop, how much further could they drop? So, you know, I'm really getting close to just completing all those pencils because I have that next one coming, you know, for sure. Like I have that next pencil coming to me that we haven't got airdropped yet. So once that happens, these desks are going to get crafted. And if there's something weird going on with those. Anyway, that's what I'm thinking, you guys. So this is my list right here. Amazing Fantasy. You know, we'll probably never get this one. You got Amazing Spider-Man 252. You got the Hulk F.A. You got Batman after DC confirmed. This is the best, first one ever. You got Luke right there because he's fantastic. And keep your eyes open for the VV verse. Now, like I said, we do have the New York City Comic Con coming up. We're going to have some cool stuff coming. So make sure you guys me save some gems for that. You don't know Hulk 181, I predicted. X-Men 1, I predicted. So we'll see what else could potentially happen. Maybe a Venom collectible animated. That would be amazing. So save some gems for sure, but the deals are so great. And let me know what other ones you might have seen in the market. Anyway, I will see you in the next video and happy collecting.